So when someone sits in your chair, what are they expecting from you? Execution, perfection, flawless, consistency. Um, the difference from my product and another product is prominent, must be seen, bold, statement. All these things, man, all those aggressive adjectives that you can use to demonstrate that of the alliance of perfection is what I want to offer, is what you should expect. If you don't expect that, then I'm not the barber from you. Because that's at the level that I deliver. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Uh, barbering, you know, it was on and off for me. I remember, like, in in high school, kind of, I would cut my own hair. So, you know, I go to Walmart, everybody get the little corded clippers, the white and blue little with the, you know, got the color guards from Wall and whatnot from Walmart. And I thought I was doing something. And I cut a few people in the neighborhood, like five dollars, thinking I'm doing something. I'm really just messing them up the whole time. And uh, then after that, I, I, you know, I'm still cutting my own hair. I joined the military and I continued to cut my own hair, but I wasn't cutting other people's hair, which I should have done. I would have made a lot of money. I should have did that. But then, uh, then I got out the military and and I went to school and I was like, you know what? This is gonna be it. This is it. I, I sincerely enjoy this this business. I like to go over the hair over and over and over just to make sure when i'm going with the grain i like to go with the hair a lot because i want to make sure you know the whole cut is uniform yeah and i feel like at the end of the cut it keeps me from having to go over so much with the free hand or with my shears so i just take this little extra time just comb it and knock it down so you do about uh, 40 45 minute cuts so you do a little bit longer about 45 minutes but he, he is going to be a little bit longer because uh, he's going to end up getting yeah, beer uh, work too, huh? the beer. He's also going to end up getting the uh, peel off mask. Yeah. If I was driving and if I was in the pool, then she thought I was driving. People, you know, people like in New York be like, oh, we're the only one that do this. Man, everyone's doing everything now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it depends on, mm -hmm. you know, how the, the barber, what you want to do, what you want to, you want to add, you know, some barbers don't have no services. I think that's one thing a lot of us have gotten good at it, as barbers. We kind of diversify. Our portfolio, you know, by adding small little things like this, small little details like this, so when did you say something? that'll make a comf uh, uh, you know, a customer come back.
stretch the skin a lot too. You know, definitely try to put it close as possible. Everyone gets to the same point differently. Yeah. Everyone's got a different style. Everyone's got something that's easier for, for them, but not easier for. I tell barbers, man, it's like a toolbox. Like you, you learn a lot of stuff, but you can pick and choose what you throw in your toolbox. Exactly. <laughs> that's true. That's very, very true. You know, I originally, uh, with it being just a raw, I originally started barbering, man, to create a cash flow for other endeavors. Uh, so I wanted to do other things different. I seen my cousin, man, he's like my favorite cousin, and uh, he was the man at the time. He was, uh, he was everything that I wanted to be. And so I went to him, like, hey, what can we do? He said, before we do anything, man, the first thing we need to do, man, is create a source of income. and he said that income need to be a cash flow, and that cash flow is your clientele, where you wash cars, where you throw newspaper, cut grass, cut hair, where the case may be. That's what we do, no more, no less. And me operating what I thought was what I wanted to do is introduce me to my calling, my calling to become a barber. And we took it for there, man, we never looked back.
coach, Chris Cutts, family environment, uh, respectful environment, yet a fun environment. Uh, I mean, I feel like this place is just the total package. You can come in here, literally, literally be yourself, bring your kids, bring whoever you want to bring in. Everybody's welcome. It's a family environment, and it's a family-friendly environment, and everybody makes you feel welcome and comfortable. It's something that, you know, is a vibe that you just really can't find everywhere. Um, the shop now we're in is Heritage to Legacy. Heritage is what was given to you. Legacy is what you leave. And that's what's about coming into this environment. Complete game changer. Elevation to its highest power. I believe that it manifests that in birth. This family, this group, uh, the stylists, the community. This is the purest form of grace that we're able to offer in the barbering content.